Hello, Stefan here with Liquidity with another subscriber request video, this time about how to pronounce the letter combination PF in the beginning of German words. How to pronounce words like Pfalz, Pferd, Pfad, Pfirsich. Liquidity. A very special thanks to my subscriber, Carrie Hill, for the idea to this video. The German language includes a lot of consonant combinations where you almost have to glide from one consonant to another one. PF in the beginning of words is a good example for that. Not so much if it's in the middle of a word. For instance, the word Hopfen, uh, you actually do kind of pronounce the P and the F uh, separately. Hopfen, which is the German word for hops, very important German word. Without hops, there wouldn't be proper German culture because we wouldn't have any beer. We'd all uh, die of thirst in Germany, at least many people, not everybody, but most people. One thing that German and English do have in common is that the P sound, or the letter generated, represented by the Roman letter P is actually a plosive sound. So uh, not all languages that use the Latin alphabet have a plosive P. And plosive means that you actually have a little puff of air. You, you produce a little puff of air as you are saying the letter P. P. So how do you combine then a plosive P with an F sound with a th. So with the plosive p, my lower lip connects with the upper lip. With the f sound, it connects with my front teeth. So how do I get from a p to an th? I put my lower lip already underneath my teeth, but I close my upper lip over to connect with whatever little bit of my lower lip is still exposed, so. And then I create a plosive, so. F, F, F. So it is a F plosive. There are a good number of very commonly used words in German that actually do start with PF. There are not that many, but there are commonly used ones. A lot of them are commonly used ones. And I'm just going to read them to you and explain a little bit what they are, what they mean. And I'm going to practice pronouncing and I'm going to encourage you to practice along with me. So the first one is die Pfalz. Und Pfalz in English means palatinate. That can be a reference to one of several regions in Germany, uh, like for instance, Rheinland-Pfalz, which is one of our states, uh, that's the most prominent example. Uh, but a Pfalz can also mean, actually historically, originally meant a palatial fortress where the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire of German nation would hold court. The second one is very important in German culture today. It's called das Pfand. It really means deposit. If you buy a beverage in Germany, you will always pay a little bit extra, not for taxes, but as a deposit. Money that you will receive back once you return the container, which are usually glass or plastic bottles. Encouraging people to recycle, encouraging people to reuse. A lot of the glass bottles in Germany are actually reused. They're, they're, they're washed in special facilities and then refilled and then given to customers again. And a lot of them are reused hundreds of times. Next one is important for cooking. Die Pfanne. Pan. A frying pan. Uh, I could add maybe Pfannkuchen here, which is pancake. Maybe. Der Pfarrer. That's a pastor or priest. Die Pfarrerin, that would be a female pastor or priest. And in German, we actually do use the feminine terms for professions 
for the same reason that, at least in North America, we don't use them. So in Germany, they're trying to be inclusive by giving different versions of, by providing the different gender specific versions of the uh, profession rather than using the one that was originally used just for males. Das Pferd, a horse. Der Pfeffer, pepper. And this refers to the spice pepper, not to the fruit, like for instance, a bell pepper or a chili pepper. For those, we have different words. Well, for chili peppers, like spicy peppers, smaller ones, we have die Pfefferschote. And then for bell peppers, we actually have the word paprika, which is spelled just like paprika, like the, the spice paprika. So if it's di paprika, it would be a bell pepper. Der paprika would refer to the powder that we use to spice or flavor things with. Die Pfeife, that can be a pipe to smoke with, or it can also mean a whistle. Die Pflege, that means care, the noun of care. And it can be used in all kinds of different contexts here. For instance, uh, the word der Pfleger or die Pflegerin, those are people who would be either nurses or people who work in nursing homes. Those are people who take care of other people. Der Pfirsich, peach. Die Pflaume. There's also a uh, Southern German and Austrian term for that, Svetschke, which is not much easier to pronounce because we have Sv in there. Uh, but Pflaume is the standard and very commonly used term in German for plum. Die Pflanze, a plant, uh, a biological plant, not a plant where things are made or things are produced or something like that. It's uh, it's used in German just for the thing that grows. Das Pflaster, two different meanings. Both of them have something to do with covering something up. So the first one is a band-aid. So it can mean a band-aid to cover up a wound, but it can also mean pavement or the pavers, like concrete pavers or, or uh, any other kind of material like stone pavers used to pave a sidewalk or a street even. The next one is an agricultural term, der Flug, plow. It's also used for snow plows, by the way, so it's not just agricultural, but originally it's an agricultural term. Die Pflicht, very common word, die Pflicht, used to describe any kind of duty or responsibility that a person has. So for instance, if you are required by law to do something, like for instance, to buckle up while you're driving in your car or while you're riding along in a car. And in German, we actually have a word for that. Anschnallpflicht, a compound noun. Literally means the responsibility, the duty, or the, 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 the requirement to buckle up. Das Pfund literally means pound. It's used for currency, like for instance, the British pound, das britische Pfund. Uh, it can also refer to the weight. So a pound in Germany is exactly 500 grams, half a kilogram. Die Pfütze, that's a puddle. Even sounds kind of like it, doesn't it? Pfütze. I also have three verbs for you. The first one is pfeifen. So we have die Pfeife, which is the whistle or the pipe. And pfeifen doesn't mean to smoke, it means just to whistle. <whistles> we had the word die Pflege care or der Pfleger or die Pflegerin, people who take care of people. Uh, we also have the verb pflegen to care for someone or something or to take care of something. It has a connotation of mending, of making things better. Uh, really applying maybe some love 
you know, doing something maybe even in a loving way, sort of kind of way, certainly with care, doing something with care. And the last one is an agricultural term, usually used in an agricultural term, and that is pflücken, pflücken, and that means to pick. So if I uh, pick berries from a raspberry bush, uh, I could say in German, ich pflücke Himbeeren. Thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos if you haven't done so yet. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Thanks for watching.